digraphs. Today we will be learning about digraphs. Digraphs are two letters that represent one new sound when put together. What are some common digraphs? You will notice that the letters that make up digraphs are on the green tiles. This is because both of those letters work together to create one new sound, so they are located on one tile. So what are some of the common digraphs? SH, which says sh. CH, which says ch. TH, which says th or th. WH, which says and PH, which says Examples of the digraph sound sh in words. Crash, shoelace, bishop. Notice that the digraph sh can come in different parts of the word. For example, in the word crash, it comes at the end of the word. In shoelace, it comes at the beginning of the word. And in bishop, it comes in the middle of the word at the end of the first syllable. Examples of the digraph sound ch in words. Chips, rich, lunchbox. Notice that the digraph ch can come in different parts of the word. For example, in the word chips, it comes at the beginning of the word. In rich, it comes at the end of the word. And in lunchbox, it comes in the middle of the word at the end of the first syllable. Examples of the digraph sound th in words. Thirsty. Math. Bathtub. Notice that the digraph th can come in different parts of the word. For example, in the word thirsty, it comes at the beginning of the word. In math, it comes at the end of the word. And in bathtub, it comes in the middle of the word at the end of the first syllable. Voiced versus unvoiced digraph th in words. The digraph th can make two different sounds. It can make the unvoiced sound, such as in the word think. It can also make the voice sound, such as in the word there. You will notice when making the unvoiced sound, like in the word think, your vocal cords do not vibrate, but when making the voice sound, like in the word there, your vocal cords do vibrate. Repeat after me as I say the following words so you can practice feeling the voiced digraph th. Then. That. Although. Repeat after me one more time. This time, put your hand on your throat so you can feel the vibration. Then. That. Although. Examples of the digraph sound woo in words. Well. Whisk. Whipped. Like whipped icing or whipped cream. Notice that the digraph WH comes at the beginning of these words. In multisyllabic words, if the second syllable contains the digraph WH, it will always come at the beginning of the syllable. For example, anywhere, cartwheel, overwhelmed. Notice that the WH is always at the beginning of the second syllable in these words. Examples of the digraph sound f in words. Phone. Graph. Pamphlet. Notice that the digraph ph can come in different parts of the word. For example, in the word phone, it comes at the beginning of the word. In graph, it comes at the end of the word. And in pamphlet, it comes in the middle of the word at the beginning of the second syllable. 
You may now go to the Try It section and then the Show What You Know section of the lesson. Consonant LE Syllable Type Some syllable types can show up in different parts of a multisyllabic word. However, some cannot. We call syllables that can only show up at the end of a word final stable syllables. Not only can final stable syllables only come at the end of a word, they are always pronounced the same way. In this lesson, you will be learning about the consonant LE syllable type. The consonant LE syllable type is a final stable syllable. The consonant LE syllable has very specific patterns. The pattern that we will be learning about today has three letters, and so you will see three tiles at the bottom of the screen. Two of the three letters are always the same, L and E. Remember, the consonant LE will always end with the letters L and E, so these two letters will come at the end of the syllable. Let's add the consonant G in front of the LE. The E is silent in consonant LE syllables. Let's slash the E to signal it's silent and read the G and L together. Goal. Remember, the E is needed because every syllable needs a vowel, so its job is to act as the vowel in this syllable even though you don't say its sound when reading the word. Here are some examples of some other consonants that can come in front of the final stable syllable consonant LE. ZLE. When reading this syllable, I need to make sure that I slash the E to indicate that it's silent, and I would pronounce this syllable ZOL. BLE. Once again, I'm going to slash that E to indicate that it's silent, and I would pronounce this syllable, bull. T-L-E. I'm going to go ahead and slash that E to make sure that we know it's silent, and I would pronounce this syllable, tull. Look at the multisyllabic word below. We'll start by marking the vowel spots. When dividing the syllables, you would divide after the A and before the B so that the three letters in the consonant LE are together to form that final syllable. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line to separate the BLE and divide the syllables. Now that we've done this, what kind of syllable is the first syllable? If you said open, you are correct. We know that when a syllable is open, it ends in a vowel, and the vowel makes the long vowel sound. So the first syllable in this word would be pronounced te. The second syllable is consonant le. Remember, with consonant le, the e at the end is silent, and so we would pronounce the second syllable Bull. When I put these two syllables together, it would be pronounced table. Table. Now take a look at the next multisyllabic word. I'm going to go ahead and mark the vowel spots. Remember, when dividing the syllables, we need to keep the consonant le by itself at the end of the word. So we would divide before the second d to keep them together. What kind of syllable is the first syllable? If you said closed, you are correct. We've learned that closed syllables have a vowel that is closed in by the consonant. And when this happens, the vowel makes the short vowel sound. So this first syllable would be read as rid. Our second syllable is the consonant LE. We learned today 
that the E in the consonant LE syllable is silent. So when reading the syllable, it would be pronounced dull. When putting these two syllables together, we would read rid dull, riddle. Why does the extra D need to be added in the word riddle? The second D needs to be there to make the first syllable closed, causing the vowel to be short. Without it, the spelling would be R-I-D-L-E, and the syllables would be divided R-I and D-L-E. This would make the first syllable an open syllable, and the vowel would be long. Ridal is not a real word. The first D is needed to close the first syllable and create a real word, riddle. Here are some other examples. Fiddle. Puddle. Let's practice dividing the syllables and reading the following multisyllabic words. The first thing we need to do is identify the vowel spots. We notice that there is a consonant LE as the second syllable. And so when we have the consonant LE, we need to keep that together. And so we are going to draw a line between the A and the B to divide these syllables and keep that consonant LE together. After we do this, we want to identify what that first syllable is. And so if the first syllable ends in a vowel, what kind of syllable would that be? If you said open, you are correct. What kind of vowel sound would that vowel in the first syllable make? If you said the long vowel sound, you are correct. So how would we read this first syllable? If you said fe, you are correct. Let's take a look at the second syllable. What type of syllable is the second syllable? The second syllable is the consonant le syllable. What do we know about the vowel in the consonant le syllable? If you said that the E is silent, you are correct. So how would we read this second syllable? If you said bull, you are correct. Let's put these two syllables together. When we do that, what word is created? If you said fable, you are correct. Here is our second word. First, we're going to identify the vowel spots. Again, we notice that consonant LE at the end of the word, and so we need to keep that together. In order to do this, we would divide between the two Gs. Now that we've done that, what type of syllable is created in the first syllable? If you said closed, you are correct. What type of sound does the vowel make in a closed syllable? If you said a short vowel sound, you are correct. How would we read this first syllable? We would read this first syllable as gig. Let's look at the second syllable. What type of syllable is our second syllable? If you said consonant LE, you are correct. Once again, what do we know about the vowel in a consonant LE syllable? If you said that the vowel would be an E and it is silent, you are correct. How would you read this second syllable? You would read the second syllable as goal. 
when putting these two syllables together, what word is created? If you said giggle, you are correct. Take a look at our last word. We'll start by marking the vowel spots. You should notice that the first vowel spot contains an R controlled vowel. Remember, we learned that when a vowel is followed by an R, it controls the sound that the vowel makes. You should also notice the consonant L E pattern at the end of this word. We learned today that when we have that consonant L E pattern at the end of a word, we need to keep it together. So when dividing this word into syllables, we would draw a line between the R controlled AR and the consonant B. When I look at this first syllable, what type of syllable do I have? If you said an R controlled syllable, you are correct. How would we pronounce this first syllable? We would pronounce the first syllable as mar. Take a look at the second syllable. What type of syllable is the second syllable? If you said consonant LE, you are correct. We know that in a consonant LE syllable that the E is silent. So how would you read this second syllable? If you said bull, you are correct. Put those two syllables together and read the word. If you read the word marble, you are correct. You may now go to the try it section and then the show what you know section of the lesson. Vowel teams. Vowel sounds can be spelled in different ways and vowel letters can stand for more than one sound. Today, you will be learning about vowel teams. Vowel teams are when two vowels are together in a word but only represent one sound. Long A vowel teams. First, we will explore the vowel teams AI and AY. These vowel team spellings can stand for the long A vowel sound in words like train and play. Remember, the long A vowel sound says the letter's name, A. Long vowel sounds are interesting because it often takes more than one letter to spell them. Let's read some words that contain the vowel teams AI and AY. You will notice that the vowel teams are on red tiles, just like the other vowels. You will also notice that both vowels are only on one tile because the vowel team only makes one sound. Repeat the words after me. Brain. B -r -a -n. Brain. Chain. Ch -a -n. Chain. Waste. W -a -st. Waste. These words all contain the vowel team AI. Repeat the words after me. Stay. St A. Stay. Spray. Sp -r -a. Spray. Clay. A. Clay. These words all contain the vowel team AY. What do you notice about where the vowel team AI is found in the word versus where the vowel team AY is found in the word? You should have noticed that the AI spelling for the long A is usually found in the middle of a word or syllable. 
And the AY spelling for long A is usually found at the end of a word or syllable. Long O vowel teams. Now we will explore the vowel teams OA and OW. These vowel team spellings can stand for the long O vowel sound in words like soap and snow. Remember, the long O vowel sound says the letter's name, O. Let's read some words that contain the vowel teams OA and OW. Repeat the words after me. Coach. K O Ch Coach. Toast. T O S T Toast. These words contain the vowel team O A. Repeat the words after me. Groan. G, r, o, n, groan. Shown. Sh, o, n, shown. Glow. G, u, o, glow. These words contain the vowel team O, W. O consonant E is the most common spelling for the long O sound in the middle of a word, but OA isn't far behind. OW is the most common way to spell the long O sound at the end of words. In many cases, more than one spelling option can be the correct way to spell a word. That's because those words have two different meanings. We call these words homophones. Homophones sound the same but are spelled differently. For example, the word toe. Toe can be spelled T-O-W. When spelled this way, toe means for one vehicle to move another vehicle to a different location. Toe can also be spelled T-O-E. However, when it's spelled this way with the O-E, vowel team, it means the toe on your foot. When there is more than one way to correctly spell a word, the best way to know the correct spelling is to build your knowledge of many different vocabulary words, and to use a dictionary or spell checker to confirm that you have the correct spelling for the word you are trying to spell. Long E vowel teams. Next, we will explore the vowel teams EA, EE, and IE. These vowel team spellings can stand for the long E vowel sound in words like team, feet, and shield. Remember, the long E vowel sound says the letter's name, E. Repeat the words after me. Beach, B, E, Ch. Beach. Speak. S -p -e -k speak. These words contain the vowel team E A. Repeat the words after me. Free. F -r -e. Free. Teen, t, e, n, teen. These words contain the vowel team e, e. Repeat the last round of words after me. Thief, th, e, f, thief. Brief, b, r, e, f, brief. These words contain the vowel team, i, e. At 
the end of a word with more than one syllable, our spelling options for the long E vowel sound of E are Y, EY, and EE. The EE is a very uncommon option. Let's take a look at the word above. The word will be weep. Weep. Weep means to cry or shed tears. What would our spelling options be to create the long E vowel sound within this word? Think about it. Our spelling options would be W-E-P-E, -E, the E consonant silent E, W-E-E-P, -E -E, the double E vowel team, and W-E-A-P, the E-A vowel team. Neither E-Y nor Y would work in this word because the E sound is not at the end of a multisyllabic word. An E by itself would not be the spelling option because it is not an open syllable. If spelled W-E-P, then the word would be pronounced WEP with the short E vowel sound E. Eh. Now that you know that your spelling options would be W-E-P-E, W-E-E-P, and W-E-A-P, you would need to determine which of those spellings is actually correct if you didn't already know how to properly spell that word. You can do this by looking in a dictionary or an electronic spell checker. The correct spelling of this word is with the EE -E vowel team, weep.